what can we expect from this episode of CTG TV? Are you asking me? I am asking I you. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. All right. I'm gonna beat my switch level. I'm slay the spider. We've got spirit, yes we do. We've got spirit, how about you? If I could, if I could fan them, if I could like start them all together and then. Let's jump in to our next craft. I'm so excited. Because there's two. Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll be right back with the, with our next craft. <laughs> wow. Just for clarification, there's another one. What is? What is? <laughs> what is oh. Wait, guys, did you know we're doing another craft? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to CTG TV episode number five, our 2020 holiday special. Welcome back everybody to this episode of CTG TV. I'm Josh Welgus, you know me as Gilly, I'm here with, who are you? I'm Andrew Chesney, or otherwise known as Gasket. And uh, you are... can call me Baby Shark. Baby Shark. You're kind of, are you, I don't know on camera, you're, are you left shark right now or are you le right shark? Uh, right shark. Okay, you're my right shark. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we just came off a pretty successful Kickstarter. We're pretty tired and loopy and exhausted, <laughs> so you're going to have to bear with us. But for the next hour, we've got some holiday-themed content for you. We're going to be hanging out. And uh, what, do, what do we got? What are you excited about? Well, I'm excited to get these uh, drinks all mixed up. I don't know what we're doing, but I've been told that it's exciting. We so, are we um, are mixing some Too Many Bones mm -hmm. themed drinks. What are you excited about? Oh, absolutely arts and craft time. It's arts and craft yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. glitter? You're excited? Yeah. Is, <laughs> is he allowed near the glue? Is, is that... I, I don't know. Okay. We're still too close to the They're kind of even. Yeah. Glue, glitter. Yeah. All right. Perfect. I'm going to be walking you through our 2020 holiday gift guide, showing you some recommendations on some stuff that you can buy, some stocking stuffers, yep. that kind of thing. So it's going to be fun. Shannon's over here on the couch watching awkwardly, so she's going to hang out a little bit too. And uh, you know what? Let's jump in. Welcome everybody to our Too Many Bones themed cocktail hour. My name is Amanda, or you may know me as Nugget. Today we are going to be making a wonderful mixed drink that is known as the Red Minotaur. So to start off, we're going to take our glasses and we're going to give them a nice sugar rim. So what you want to do with that is an alternate to licking <laughs> okay. would be to, to dip the glass in water. So we've got a bowl of water. And I didn't, but keep in mind we are sharing. So Since when do we share cocktails? <laughs> we are sharing some of our pieces. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Got All it. Right. Ready. All right. I have a, so I have then, a wet rim. Excellent. Um, 
<laughs> just keep going. So, yes. what you're going to want to do then is dip the rim of the glass in that plate of sugar. Okay. So you can roll you it across. It. Okay. Yep, you, you do want to rotate it. So you should have that nice oh, frosted look at that. edge. Perfect. Like it. Don't take all the sugar. <laughs> on the okay, outside okay, okay, of the glass. Fine, yes, on, roll it. You'll want to roll the outside of the edge. Got it. Excellent. Oh, I'm a pro. All right. Like Next, we're going to go ahead yeah. and we're going to add a couple cubes of ice. I think so. Can I have some more? I'll let you go ahead oh. and right. add those. And while that is happening, you'll then want to How many add no, that's a it's few fine. cubes. Just two, just two, just yep, you just need a few cubes. Okay. I've had lunch already. I need some. Yep. <laughs> just dump the water in him. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's driving too. Oh. <laughs> Then go ahead and add your cranberries. Mm. Six Crush and a half. them first? Nope, just oh. as is. One. How many? Just a, one. a small handful. Nope. <laughs> totally Those fine. Cranberries. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. Then you in your wrong. cocktail shaker, there should already be some ice. Yes. Yep. So then you're going to want to take your grenadine. Okay. And we're going to add an ounce of the grenadine. Mm. Wow. Oh my wow. Nice. wow. That's I'll have no. you go ahead and put I, it in the shaker oh, for me. This is a, this is a team go, effort, everyone. Team. Uh, Excellent. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's, that's quite a shaky hand, I like. I know. Okay. Oh, and in, in this yep. vessel? Yep. yep, into your cocktail shaker. Okay, we're in. So that was how many ounces? Just one shot? That was, yep, one shot or one ounce. Okay, one ounce grenadine. Got it. And then, oops, we're going to want to do an ounce of cranberry juice. That's a little bit of cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try very hard not to. <laughs> Over Ooh. the table. Come on now, man. I like how we're all looking oh. and hoping who's going to make the first mistake in something. Exactly. There you go. Oh. I'll let you put it into Is the it my turn? Right. It's your turn. Oh no. I'm going to try with my left hand. There we go. <laughs> so now we, we're making enough for two drinks right now. Nice. Oh, what a, uh, what? I wobbled. What a disaster. Well, go ahead and put, the, that yeah. at, put, put that in there. Cool. In the shaker. <laughs> you're you're in doing the that. Shaker. <laughs> I have to lift it. Get any on the table oh, it's come fine. on. Come on, man. No, 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 no. There we go, you're fine. Okay. And you're actually going to want to put in a second ounce of the cranberry what? juice. Oh, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> there we go. I'm good at measuring these lines. <laughs> go for it, man. All right. Oh, oh I'm impressed. Yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, we're on this. All right. Boom. Okay. So that is that. And then next, we're going to flip your jigger over. Oh, you got rid of the thing. Yeah, That's your... Oh. Okay. I'm... We're going to do this thing. <laughs> I... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Unroll it. There you go. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And then this is... Let's see. You're putting in... Because we're making two drinks, you're going to want to do three ounces or... What? Two shots, roughly. Two, approximately two shots. We're okay. using Maker's Mark bourbon. Mm-hmm. Hashtag sponsored. Or they could if they want okay. to. Okay. You get to pour this time, Andrew. And half again. Just half? Or is it two full ones? Full. Two full ones. Full. Okay, we're in. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. Caps on top of your shakers. Go ahead and give it a shake. Make sure it's on there. Yes. That's quite professional. All right. <laughs> then you can go ahead and take off the small cap. And you should have enough. When it's the right way up. <laughs> yes, when it is the right way up. Oh. Enough for Got your it. two Got it. Got it. drinks. You do the honors. Okay. Do I have to guess which is half? Yep. You definitely got more than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There I'll, we go. I'll allow it. All right. Oh. It's close. That's pretty close. I'm happy with that. And happy then that. we garnish with blackberries and a sprig of rosemary. Nice. So. Sure this isn't time? Yes. <laughs> it's time for the rosemary. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching. Go ahead. 
What makes it a sprig? I think... It's a genuine question. Why is it not like a twig? Um, because it still has the green bits attached. Is that... That's my official answer. <laughs> <laughs> that is Science, right there here. you go. That's, That's the official answer. Yeah. Oh. Sprig still has the oh. green bits attached. Oh, one more thing. Great. We'll check that on nice. the internet. All right. Okay, and good. there you have it. That's that amazing. is our first mixed drink. Right. Yay. Yay. Four, four drinks for Shannon. <laughs> awesome. There you go. You guys did. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. Pretty good. Wow. That is actually really good. Yeah. yeah. Ta-da. Impressive. Thank you. <laughs> the next think. drink that we are going to make is the Spirits of Evan. And this is another simple recipe. It is important to note that the volumes that we are talking about on camera are to make two drinks because we are sharing shakers. Aww. So when we post this recipe, it <laughs> will be for a single drink. So the first ingredient that we're going to add to our cocktail shaker is vodka. Vodka. So we are going to go ahead and... Are you absolutely sure? Oh! Yes. I think it's clear. It... I think it's clear. So we're adding four ounces. The recipe calls for, for two. two. Yeah. Boom. I think that's... <laughs> Just keep going. Do another. It's fine. One more. <laughs> It's One more for to get this right. good measure. It's Friday. So, um, there for us. Are. Yeah, it's just like baking. It's really important to uh, to get this exactly right. Well, don't move it away. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> All right. And while they are working on their first ingredient, on. we are going to work on our second, and that is an ounce of Saint Germain or elderflower. Ooh, very fancy. My uh, my mother was an elderflower. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did she come in that bottle? Was she French? Because that's where <laughs> this is made. There you are. Yeah. You sound more British. Just full? Yep. Mm. That's all you need. Oh, oh. Boop, boop, boop. oh, it's fine. It's clear. It's clear. nearly. <laughs> this part's a little bit tricky, but we are going to mm. go ahead and add one egg white. Mm. Oh, I got this. The way to extract your egg white from your egg <laughs> is... <laughs> that's one method. Or... Um, you gently crack it, and then you use both shells to re remove the, uh, to sift that egg white out. So we'll go ahead and do a little crack. I see this on the British Baking Show all the time. That's right. And I'm always jealous. So I go ahead and I put it in one. What? And then Oops. pour it into the other one. And then you dump it into the Love next it. one. But you're doing this over the drink. And then you Make go. Make it straight in. First. Confidence is key, Let's man. make sure we get a close-up of you doing this over here because. Straight in. I've never done this it's before. It's going to be a disaster and I can't wait. Confidence is key. Okay, and then fine. you can go ahead fine. and discard your egg yolk and shells. There's no disasters, just happy accidents. Wow. Ooh. All right, now Not pass bad. it into yep. the next one. Thank you, Gavin. Good. Pass it again. I like it. One more. Can I, like... There you go. In there. That's well it. Done. Well done. And we'll, well we'll make done. some omelets from that in a bit. Absolutely. <laughs> I got it. All right, go ahead and cap your shaker. And then go ahead and give it a shake. And can we put the second mm. cap on, please? <laughs> <laughs> Before you do that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Excellent. I don't think that it helps. The yeah. amount of shaking, uh, actually, the more you shake it, the more frothy it is going to get. Oh, wow. Okay. So go ahead and give it a little extra shake. Splendid. I can't. I can't stop that. I'm just going to drink while you do that. You can go ahead and put that down. <laughs> then wow, man. Next, That's pretty cold. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and add our ginger beer. So, I'll to the glass. To the glass. The glass. So go ahead. Open up your ginger beer. Oh. And you'll only want to add about a third. This is weird. How do I do this? Pull out and up. Ah, there we, we go. go. Mm. A we third is. of a glass. Now, what brand of ginger beer are we using here? This is Bundaberg. Oh. <laughs> a third. Of yeah, there's ice in it. Bundaberg. Oh, yep, true. Bundaberg um, ginger ale, or ginger beer. Excuse ah. me. Yeah. Bundaberg. That's, that's good. Yep. That's good. And then you'll want to add another third of orange juice. Oh. Mm. 
Make sure that you are not adding too much because remember, we need to save room for what is in our shaker. Got it. Like a fancy we all know where that so is. A little bit. No, put a bit more in there. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. There we go. Too much. <laughs> Take it back out. <laughs> all right. So you can go ahead and open your shaker. And that oh. should give you a nice Here, you do that. frothy you top. It. I did. Let's see the, see the frothy froth. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, yours is frothier. I should have shaken it like you did. <laughs> <laughs> see. Leave it to the professionals. I'm a failure as a shaker. Oh. It's still gonna taste delicious, I promise. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so you can see that there is a little bit of that froth on the mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. And then you'll wanna go ahead and oh, garnish one. with a sprig of rosemary. More sprigs. Are you sure this isn't a time? A stick of cinnamon. Oh, look at that. So this is the forest floor that we have. Yes. Up. Oh, my. And then if you want to get your to the bottom. It's gone. <laughs> and then if you want to be super fancy, go ahead and the take a little bit of the ground cinnamon and sprinkle that and on. If you want to be really, really fancy, you can <laughs> you drop your cinnamon stick right into your <laughs> Into the cup. top. Yeah. May we have is this? Oh, oh, we had you, some. You oh, had some. It's professional. <laughs> Just kidding. Yours isn't even in the drink, your cinnamon. I'm going to drink it through the cinnamon stick. Oh, I see. That is one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And there you have it. The spirits of e Evan. <laughs> Ebon. Ebon. Spirits, Ebon. spirits <laughs> of Evan. Evan. There Evan. we go. There we go. Mm. That's good. Wow. That's good. I like that. It's pretty yummy. I especially like the extra froth. I especially like the cinnamon stick in all in the, the glass. In the drink. Yeah, it really adds character. Mm. That was a big gulp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's really was good. it extra cinnamon? Cinnamon cinnamon. Cinnamon cinnamon. Take another drink. Big gulps, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> see you later. That was good. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Josh Welgis. You know me as Gilly, and I'm here to go over our holiday 2020 guide. I'm gonna to talk to you about the best things that you can buy from the Chip Theory Games online store and tell you why this month is the best time you can do it. Let's dive in. To start, let's talk about our holiday coupon code for the year, holiday 2020, as you can see on your screen. As long as you spend at least $30 at ShipTheoryGames.com, enter that coupon code at checkout, and you will receive a free Control Your Roll dice tray of your choice. Simply add the dice tray you'd like to your cart, enter the code at checkout, and you're good to go. This includes pre-orders, this includes Burn Cycle Late Pledges, anything on our web store above $30, and you can get yourself a free Control Your Roll dice tray. A lot of customers ask us, where should I start? with the Too Many Bones line of products. It's our most popular game, our most popular series here at Chip Theory. So we get asked that a lot. We've got two standalone products for you. We've got Too Many Bones and Undertow. So which one is the best to start with? I'm gonna tell you today in this video, I recommend you start with the base game, Too Many Bones. Undertow looks like it's a great place to jump in because of the price point. However, it's a little bit more complex, so if you're not quite familiar with how Too Many Bones plays, really the base game is going to be a better place to jump in. It's got four characters, seven tyrants, tons of loot, tons of baddies, and it's just a great way to introduce yourself to the world of Daylore. You will get hours and hours and hours of gameplay out of the base game alone, and then once you're really comfortable, that's a great time to jump into Undertow which is a fantastic value with two more characters, all new baddies, all new loot, and some really, really creative and fun new mechanics. Now, one thing that's extremely rare in the world of Chip Theory games is discounts. And so I'm excited to tell you that for the first time ever in the Too Many Bones universe, we have two exclusive bundles at a discounted price available for you this holiday season. The first is the original four expansion gear locks for Too Many Bones and Too Many Bones Undertow. That's Gilly, Tink, Nugget, and Gasket, and they are available in a package together for $90. That's a $10 discount over buying them individually. 
Over here, we've got all the content expansions for Too Many Bones. We've got Splice and Dice, which just came out last year. We've got Age of Tyranny and 40 Days in Daylore. And they are also normally $100 and will be available for $90 exclusively during this holiday season. Speaking of things that are only available during the holiday season, let's talk about the various promos that are available right now. We make these available from Black Friday until the end of the year, each and every holiday season. And so we've got a variety of things, including the 2020 promo pack, which I don't have in front of me because we haven't received it here at Chip Theory HQ just yet. Now these vary in price, uh, based on the content, but we've got the Trolling for Fools pack, which was our April Fools pack from a couple years ago. We've got the Gearlock Child, very, very uh, hot off the presses, which was our April Fools joke from this year. And then we've got our annual promo packs, 2018, 2019, and the aforementioned 2020 promo pack. Now, these promo packs, you know, they feature a variety of chips uh, from alternate art chips for celebrating Halloween and the first day of spring and some other goofy things to uh, promotional chips that we've made for content creators, Man vs. Meeple, and a few others. So there's a variety of things, but rather than make these exclusive to conventions or what have you, we allow you to purchase them all in one shot during the holiday season each and every year. Trolling for Fools is just a goofy, uh, you know, if you go and read about the confusion between Nam and Deb on our website, you can learn all about what the Trolling for Fools pack is. and. You know, the Gearlock Child is our way of trying to shamelessly plug into the popularity and marketability of Baby Gilly. I mean, Yoda. I mean, the Gearlock Child. Moving on. What do you get the gamer who has all of our big box games? So they've got Cloud Spire, they've got Too Many Bones, they've even got Hoplo. We've got a bunch of stuff to help fill that stocking stuffer role this holiday season. I already mentioned the Controlly Roll Dice Tray. Now we've got a variety of those and they are available for $15 a piece or, as we mentioned, using Holiday 2020 coupon code, you'll get one free with each purchase of over $30. But there's also a couple small boxes that are available on our web store. We've got Triplock, a great kind of abstract, puzzly, thinky uh, game. And then we've got Game to Pick a Game, the game you play when you want to play a game but don't know what game to play. This is a great, lightweight, kind of uh, humorous way to pick a game on game night. And, you know, maybe it'll help solve a lot of those conflicts you have with your friends about either what game to play or even what movie or restaurant to eat at. If you're still not sure what to get that special someone in your life, but you know they love Chip Theory games, we do have gift cards available in several different denominations. They're delivered immediately after purchase via email. So that's it. That's a brief overview of everything we've got going on here for holiday 2020, which just so happens to be our coupon code to receive a free dice tray with any purchase over $30. We'll also mention that due to supply chain challenges around the world, please check the individual product descriptions of anything you order from our website. Some of these items may be available in slightly different timelines throughout the world based on your region. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. All right, we are back. And a question that we have received a bunch of times over the years is, I've upgraded to premium health, be it Too Many Bones, Hoplo, Cloud Spire. I've got all this standard health sitting around my house. What do I do with it? Do I donate it? Do I get rid of it? Do I throw it away? Well, we have enlisted Nugget here. After, after making drinks and drinking drinks together, we have enlisted Nugget to help us with glue guns make some use of our standard health. So what, what are we do, doing? It's important to do this after the drink. Right? <laughs> Usually, okay. yes. You'll have more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Generally. Yeah. Um, so what we are going to do, we using the standard health and a few other craft supplies. That you likely have around your house. Most likely. I mean, I found a lot of this in the office already. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot more about us than it does about this craft. Um, we are going to go ahead and show you step by step how to make this adorable reindeer ornament. Oh my goodness. It is it, it's adorable. Is it is like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm already entertained. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Okay. Yes. Yep. Now we will be going 
through all of these different craft pieces and all of the materials used will be listed on your screen. So uh, do not fret if I don't shout everything out at once. So first we're gonna go ahead and take two craft sticks. What's the difference between a craft stick and a tongue depressor? <laughs> At the price. <laughs> you get one from your doctor and the other from the craft store. Great. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two of them and we're going to make, we're going to start off with the V, which makes the head of our reindeer. I knew that. I knew that. I totally guessed that one. I hope so, you didn't use a hot glue gun for those eyes. Over there. Going, going ahead and taking your hot glue gun, we're going to do a dab on one end. Wait. <laughs> Oh no, that's not right. No, this sorry. is at least the second time in my life I've used a hot glue gun. <laughs> and you said mine wasn't going to be warm. I think I dabbed. <laughs> I think I got it. Uh, oh, there it goes. All right. Yep. Go, go ahead and give it a dab. And then you're making the letter V by overlapping your two craft sticks. Okay. We've like been practicing so. this since 1415. Uh, yes. <laughs> if I, could I use a craft stick as a tongue depressor, do you think? Mm. Doubtful. Could okay. you use a reindeer decoration as a tongue depressor? I would not recommend it, um, okay. as they tend to, you know, sit in closets for at least a couple months, and okay. then they gather a little dust and might taste a little funky. Yours is a lot narrower. Sounds like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> the next step in building our reindeer is adding our top piece. Easy. So what we're going to do is kind of eyeball where that is going to cross. We want to make sure that we do have a little bit of um. <laughs> what? <laughs> a little bit of. A little bit of those um, ears. bottom. Forehead. Yes, we exactly. Need a, we need a forehead here. You're, you're also a... making some little ears oh. for These your reindeer. These are not the forehead. So what I do you, is. What, what would you know about foreheads? Add um, a little bit on I've each got four side. Of them. Wait, wait, wait. I'm off. <laughs> and then like lay it. that across. Maybe we could do letters for our names as well. There we go. Okay. Then next we're gonna go ahead and take our pipe cleaners and we're going to make our antlers. So take your long, long <laughs> <laughs> The The what? Take the long. We're gonna take the long pipe cleaners. Okay. I just put my thumb in hot glue. <laughs> That's right, it'll cool down quickly. <laughs> Maybe if you kept your actual eyes on your project, <laughs> yeah. this wouldn't I'm be such a this. problem. I'm gonna do this. Come on, okay. I'm confused. Okay. I'm ready. So, I'm ready. taking I'm ready. the full size or long um, pipe cleaner, we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. It doesn't need to be long then, does it? Okay, I'm in half. So it's in half. Then hold it at about the middle whoa, and whoa, whoa, whoa. twist your bottom oh. pieces. Why? Oh, this is not the first thing. time getting has been asked that. I don't know what that means. It's just a but few a few a gentle point. twists. Okay, got it. Boom. Then we're going to take one of our short Boom. pieces, which is half of your standard pipe oh, cleaner man. length. Okay, it's getting harder. Fold that in half. Oh. Wait, Wait, you need another one? Twist. Okay. And then that just slips over the top of one of your branches. Wait, half again? Oh, short one. Short one. Wait, Come can on. we twist it once? We, Not yet. Nope. She hasn't said that yet. No. Nope. So you have uh, your your half. Yeah. Got goes it. Goes on top of the Y. I can't see it. Like so. Got it. Boom. Great. Done. Boom. Then you'll want to give it a single twist on <laughs> 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 on that short piece that you just added. Uh, I see. Okay, and then okay. you'll want to do one twist to kind of seal that in, and then you should have a four branched antler. Boom. Oh, got it. Excellent. Nailed it. Then we're going to do the same thing with your other set. Okay. So folding again, in half. folding in Should half. It, it might as well look like a palm tree. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Every Ask every antler is... Is unique. <laughs> every <laughs> antler is a snowflake. Exactly. <laughs> every... <laughs> every snowflake is an antler. Every antler is a More unique More science with your three games. Uh, okay. snowflake. All right. All right. And then we're going to twist. You are not a beautiful and unique antler. We're going to take our small piece, movie quotes. Um, fold it in half, put it on one side. Yeah. 
Oh, I feel like I'm rushing. Give it a twist. Ah! Give it are, another twist. It. These are exquisite. Yeah. Oh, and then you honest. should, exactly, you should have a lovely set yeah. of antlers. All right, I'm right. ready. Okay, <laughs> we're in. Oh, okay. geez. All right, then we're going to go ahead and take our craft stick and our craft stick triangle. <laughs> the arms on your screen, man, it's great. <laughs> Hello. I think. And we're going to flip it <laughs> upside down. Ah! I didn't know there was a right way up. Whoa. Which way, how do I know if it's upside down? There we go. Cross beam on the bottom. Yes, you'll want okay. that cross piece Aww. on the bottom. Right. Okay. All right. And then add a dab of glue. And add your antlers. Got this. Dab of glue. Do, do, do. Your antler. I just put my thumb in hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not wearing the eyes anymore. <laughs> Maybe you should put them back on. <laughs> I think so. Excellent. Okay. And while we have that um, in this direction, we're also going to add our hanging ribbon. Oh. That, so that, right between whoa. your antlers, go ahead, and we're going to place a bit of glue. I think it dried oh. already. I don't have a lot of room between uh, my antlers. And do one end of your ribbon and then the other to make a little hanger. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My fingers feel hot. Remember Probably. that hot glue is hot, and if you <laughs> hold on to it for too long, uh, you may burn your fingertips. Yeah. Yes. Keep your eyes. The clue open is in the is name. Good. All right. We're gonna flip our reindeer over. Grab our googly eyes, and those will go on that cross piece. And we just stick them right down, right? Just, exactly. Yep. <laughs> Who's leading this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm in love with your reindeer. <laughs> And then finally, to make, use of, <laughs> to make use of all of that extra health that you have, we'll use that for our nose. So at the point of where your ranger nose is going to go. <laughs> point of no <laughs> returning, Gilly, sir. <laughs> yes. Um, add another dab of glue. What if you don't need glue? <laughs> and then you go ahead and add your chip. <laughs> 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 and there you have it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. It's just... And there you have it. Your very own Chip Theory Games. Right here. It's like separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back and we're ready to jump into craft number two. Now, I will mention that uh, we have a link below in this video for a PDF that you can download the template you'll need to make this craft along with us. And what are we making here? Because this is amazing. We are making a tantrum themed snowflake. So, so tantrum is a beautiful snowflake. We got axes in here. We've got gear lock heads in here. I There's hearts, the rage. trees, lots of rage cutting. Yeah. <laughs> um, rage. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Okay. All right. So you'll want to start with a square piece of paper. I've got one. Excellent. Right. And you are going to fold it corner to corner to so create a large yeah. triangle. You did this for us ahead of time. I Is did. That, did you doubt our <laughs> ability uh, to it's fold? Not because of doubt, but because I was using a rectangle piece of paper. So I don't trust her, and then, I'm going to yep. do it myself. <laughs> so then I went ahead and sure. made it into a triangle shape. Got you. All right. So the next step, we are going to take our right corner. Okay. Fold it to our left. Okay. To make a smaller triangle. We are making oh. a much smaller triangle. Nice. Freeze this up the center. This is like math class. Got it. All right. And then you're going to want to rotate it ever so slightly so that that point is facing you. Point. Okay. There's three points. <clears throat> Which point? The 
<laughs> you nailed it. The main Nailed one. it. Okay. Yep, the, 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 the newest one. point that you just yeah. made. Then we're going to go ahead and take right to left again. Oh. Making an even smaller triangle. Okay. I bet you there's something to do with the pig next. Then we're going to open it and undo that fold that we just made. Okay. So long. Got it. I got it. Just keep moving. I'm fine. Then taking this long right side, yep. we're going to fold that so it meets the crease that is in the middle. Huh. So it's kind of like making half of a paper airplane. Mm. Nice. Oh, I did it wrong. Did you lock paper airplanes? Well, I've got this. That's a good idea for the next one. Okay, craft. what's next? Don't do it like I did it, kids. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to take both of these uh, pieces that are on our left and fold it at that center line. All the way across. That's what we got it. So it should look like half of a boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Then we're going to take um, our what? scissors. OK. And we are going to cut off these tails. And the way you want to do that is line your scissors, the point of your scissor up with this corner that we've made, which is at your center line. Okay. And then you are just cutting straight across. Oh, wow. This feels, I feel afraid. It's a little Should scary at afraid? first. It's, it's a little scary at first. Okay. But my boat will sink if I cut it. It's only half a boat. Oh, that's probably why you're sinking in the first <laughs> place. So yeah, okay. All right. Great. Discard those ends. Okay. And then I find it super helpful to then flip it over so that we see what is two triangles in front of us. Okay. So then taking your pencil, you'll want to go ahead and put in the lines that we're going to cut. Okay. So this is where the template comes into Exactly. Play, right? Okay. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So starting in this middle piece, we're going to go ahead so and uh, put in our gear lock head. And you want to make sure that you are thinking of things in halves because you're cutting around a fold. Mm -hmm. So you only want to put, you only want to draw half of whatever the object that you're putting gotcha. in. Gotcha. Okay. So our gear lock head is half of a circle. And then there's the little loop for the lower part of the lobe of the ear. This is Goes tricky. up to a point and comes back down. Don't just get ahead, wait for just instructions. Silence. <laughs> silence. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and add a half of a heart above the gear lock's head. So is that is that two chambers? So or? like this? Below our gear lock, we're gonna do half of a tree. Half and it's just two, excuse me, it's just two little triangles. You will want to make sure that you have space between the images that you're cutting out so that your snowflake still stays together and has some internal structure. And what I find to be super helpful is I will put a little X in all of the places that I am going to cut out oh. to help keep track. Ow. <laughs> Don't touch me ever again. I was cut I was X in the bit I was gonna cut. All right. <laughs> now we're going to add like in. This. Now we're going to add in a border around our heart and that gear lock ear. This is really very simple when you see the template. Yes. Got and it. then also along the bottom of. Mine's a fir tree. The head. Mine's All a right. bonsai tree. So. Yeah, like so. Yeah, or like this. Now, to add the axe, the axe has three parts, and we have to think about it as three separate shapes so that it holds that same, um, so it still takes up. <laughs> Get that out of here. That, it makes that same image. All right, so starting at the top, we're going to do half of a blade, and it curves up. Oh. Then we have that nice, sharp edge. Don't forget to take a drinking break. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that blade. Then there is a little half circle <coughs> bobble at the end, or a little bit farther down. 
And then we have the handle, which comes out, and it's just a very thin Boom. handle. I don't think your gear like head's gonna look good at all. I think it's gonna look like a big dumb thing. Kind word. I think it's gonna. And look then like... it's also gonna be super helpful <laughs> to word. cut to make a cut across the very tip of our triangle that creates that star or unique shape in the center. Great. So we can we start cutting? Uh, did you go ahead and oh, add I... your edge around the axe as well? Yes. Excellent. Then yes, you You're can right. go ahead and Now how do you how come your lines look so much cleaner than brim? Uh, she has talent. Oh yeah. That's all right, so your template should look like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like this. And then you can go ahead and... Cut out the X parts. Yeah, exactly. Cut. Remove all of those X out pieces. Oh. Have you done already? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you will want to make sure that you don't uh, overcut. Um, because you can then create cuts where you don't want them, and that can cause your snowflake to fall apart. We'll have a tutorial for this later on. We won't. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Let's reveal this stuff. Right here. We're ready? We're ready. All right. So go ahead and gently unfold. <laughs> the hair is going through it now, so it doesn't open. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, yours actually looks like the, the original, though. So. <gasps> Mine kind of does. Ba -ba. Look at my gear lock head. I think my gear lock head's better than yours. You think so? Yours kind of looks like a bat. To each their own. <laughs> <laughs> How is it your... looked better before. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's. Oh, I missed so that. There we Was have... there an axe handle that I missed? Nope, you've got it in there. It's right It's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what that Do is. I have that? That's incredible. Just incredible Look artistry. Look at that. <laughs> incredible artistry on every so, level, I would say. There we I go. Kind of, jealous. Not that jealous. is how I, I, I have you... to say, I kind of like mine more than yours. Oh, yours is... Look, yours is, look you got like the Toy Story aliens. <laughs> the claw. Arr. It's cool. <laughs> It's All right, so we've made drinks. We've gone over a holiday guide, and now we've made snowflakes and reindeer. These are amazing. Thank you, Nugget. No problem. These are, these this are is fantastic. a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, these second ones didn't use standard health chips, but maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll do another craft with a standard health chip. Um, yeah. That's it for us for this holiday special of CTG TV. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll be back in January of 2021. 2020 is finally almost over with another episode full of ridiculous and amusing and hopefully informative and fun segments <laughs> for you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, 